and the fact that it prompted epileptic fits, there was no more joking. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for those logos whose designs have some embarrassingly unintended interpretations. And yet another said the typeface Helvetica is synonymous with American Airlines. Number 20, Wisconsin Tourism Federation. You know it today, if you know it at all, as the Tourism Federation of Wisconsin. But back prior to 2009, they were the Wisconsin Tourism Federation. So why the name change? You can blame the internet for that. Or more specifically, the way the internet and texting culture created the popularity of acronyms. W. T. F. Here, here. You see where we're going with this one. Well, for decades, WTF didn't mean anything to anyone, but come the internet and messaging, WTF is now easily recognized as, well, you know. And so, the Wisconsin Tourism Federation did a little rearranging of their acronym. Number 19, Japan Heritage. In 2015, Japan's Agency for Cultural Affairs launched a program called Japan Heritage. According to a Japanese travel news site, one of the main goals of the program was to assist local branding or foster local identity. This might seem a bit ironic given the logo the program launched with at the time. While we appreciate the simple white background and red circle representing Japan, their choice of font seems a little, let's say, not good? Bullshit. Bullshit. Derivative. While the Japan is pretty identifiable, if you didn't know the logo was for Japan Heritage, what are the odds you would have been able to identify that second word? Number 18, Airbnb. Launched as Air Bed and Breakfast in 2008, the company became Airbnb in 2009 with a simple bubble letter logo. After growing exponentially, the company felt it needed a refresh, and in 2014 came a redesigned website and a brand new logo. While the new logo was meant to represent people, location, love, and the letter A, for many, it just looked like any number of private parts, male or female ones, depending on how you look at it. You know, and I'll tell you, there was a little thing in the Washington Post where they said, you know, people who predictably say, this is terrible because it looks like genitalia. He said, maybe that's part of the whole point. Hey, you know what? Get you it's marketing, it. it gets it talked about. And there was no shortage of redesigns featuring the logo incorporated into various anatomical drawings. I, honestly, I think I liked our brand to be so iconic that when somebody sees somebody naked in the future, maybe say, wow, you look like the Airbnb logo. <laughs> but, um, Number 17, Mama's Baking. Mama's Baking is a Greek bakery, and for their logo design, they wanted something that combined the idea of mama and baking. See, Sherry, I like to make sure that my food is properly lubricated. It goes down easier that way. Now, we can think of a lot of good ways those two things can be combined visually, but a lady with a fire on her midsection isn't one of them. Oh. Oh. Maybe the lower half of the design is supposed to be an oven? Either way, the two round breasts and the hot middle don't really sell the idea of mama's baking, but more the idea that mama needs to take antibiotics. Number 16, Gap. What's wrong with the Gap logo, you ask? The company name in a navy blue box is iconic. G, that's for getting the A for always. P, that's for power and the people that praise. Backwards, P for popular, A for attitude. G, get it going, daddy. Gap is on the move. How easy is this? Yeah. But we aren't talking about that logo. We're talking about the short-lived logo redesign the company introduced on October 6, 2010. The one featuring Gap in a bold font with a little blue box at the top right-hand corner of the P. If you want to talk about consumer backlash, just go and read the thousands of social media posts that hated on the new logo. Can you blame them? That thing is lame. Online Whoa. critics <clears throat> said the new logo looked cheap and <laughs> unsophisticated and <laughs> As if it was designed in Microsoft Word. Hey, Ooh, wow. Ouch. Or someone was experimenting with Photoshop for the first time. And if you thought the Coca-Cola company went back to original Coke from New Coke quickly, that's nothing compared to the literally six days it took Gap to go back to the old logo. Number 15, Donald Trump slash Mike Pence campaign logo. Most of us are familiar with the simple 2016 campaign logo featuring a large letter Trump in blue with a slightly smaller red Pence underneath. What you may be less familiar with is the first logo the Trump slash Pence team put out with the intertwined T and P and the red and white stripes beside it. If you look at the logo, guys, I mean, what did you think? The, the, the T of Donald Trump is like impaling Mike Pence like right through the P. And while we understand the stripes are an obvious ode to the American flag, we're with former Democratic rep John Dingle on the TP thing. Following the release of the logo, Dingle tweeted, what is the T doing to that P? Donald Trump screwed Mike Pence for the second time on January 6, 2021. Turns out, the first time was in that original Trump slash Pence logo. 
Number 14. The First Tokyo Olympics Logo There's nothing suggestive about the first logo released by the 2020 Tokyo Olympic Committee. There's nothing rude or offensive about it either. The only problem with it was that it looked almost exactly like an already existing logo for the Théâtre de Liège in Belgium. Whether Japanese graphic designer Kenjiro Sano did it on purpose or not, we might never know, although he did say that he'd never seen the Liège logo before. But what we do know is that after the theater's logo designer, Olivier Deby, threatened to sue, the committee scrapped the design and got to work on a new one. Number 13. Clinica Dental When you go to the dentist, you obviously expect a certain type of service. You know what, on second thought, Mr. Tourette, I think we're gonna have to pull the tooth. Hmm? However, if this logo for the Clinica Dental San Marcelino is to be believed, maintaining your oral health isn't the only service they provide to their clients. Although, given how most people hate going to the dentist, maybe they're just trying to imply that a trip to their clinic is a much more metaphorically enjoyable experience than with most other dentists. Metaphorical or not, this logo fail requires more than a couple of rinses to get the bad taste out of our mouths. Number 12. The Metropolitan Museum of Art Known colloquially for years as the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City took the nickname to heart in 2016 when they did a full redesign of their logo. Gone was the iconic M in a web of grids and circles owed to Leonardo da Vinci, replaced by a big red THE atop a big red MET. When it comes to big red things, people love Clifford, but the same kind of love wasn't there for the new museum logo in 2016. <laughs> Architecture critic Justin Davidson was one such hater, describing the new logo as a red double-decker bus that has stopped short, shoving the passengers into each other's backs. We're going to assume that wasn't what the MET was going for. Number 11. Sat Anne. Katrine is a German satellite, antenna, and digital solutions company providing many services and products to its clients. One of said products are TV satellite dishes. You know, the kind you see on house and apartment building roofs. Maybe you don't even notice things like that generally, but were your eyes to land on certain Katrine dishes, they might stand out a little because of the Sat Anne logo on them. We assume the Sat and the Anne are abbreviations for satellite and antennas. However, the company's decision to not put a space between the two words means instead of sat and, these dishes are emblazoned with Satan. Now that's one hell of a mistake. Who has summoned me to this realm? Number 10, Kudara Pharmacy. Let's say you're a graphic designer for a Japanese pharmacy and they ask for a dynamic new logo. You think that one melding together your organization's customer-centric philosophy and the first letter of its name would be a great idea. The good news is the two stick figure logo received global brand recognition from the likes of Huffington Post, BuzzFeed, and Business Insider, to name a few. The bad news is it's because your logo looks like two people standing up and getting down, if you know what we mean. Let's just say it's referred to by some as the Rear Admiral. If I lean over, I leave myself open to wedgies, wet willies, or even the dreaded Rear Admiral. Perhaps Kudawara should have made lemons out of lemonade and focused on selling erectile dysfunction drugs. Number 9. Vermont Pure Maple Syrup Only the highest quality product gets Vermont's Pure Maple Syrup label. I love maple syrup on pancakes. I love it on pizza. I like to take maple syrup and put a little bit in my hair when I've had a rough week. What do you think holds it up, Slick? Perhaps this slow, painstaking process doesn't leave time for little things like noticing that their logo looks like a man relieving himself. To be fair, when you stick a tap in a tree and it drips, it's going to look kind of funny. But come on, Vermont! Your state looks like the profile of a pair of beefy legs, and your northeast looks like a butt. Putting the spout right at the base of the hand like Lake Champlain Islands and adding a bucket below it is bound to elicit laughter. Even so, the logo remains a symbol for the highest quality syrup, so why should they change anything? Number 8. Office of Government Commerce, United Kingdom In 2008, it was reported that the UK's Office of Government Commerce spent £14,000 to create a new logo. Unfortunately, when rotated 90 degrees, it looks like a person, or maybe a snowman, engaging in self-gratification. The general public and news outlets noticed. An OGC spokesman responded, saying the logo caused a few titters among some staff. However, they decided that any combo of the letters OGC would look halfway indecent, and that such a logo was not inappropriate to an organization that's looking to have a firm grip on government spending. Right. Three years later, the OGC was absorbed into another agency. There's always a bigger fish. We have to assume that maybe its demise was due, in part, to the gripping logo. Number 7. Locum AB Poor Locum. 
This Swedish property management firm was just trying to thank their customers and wish them a happy holidays, while in turn saving some trees, via an electronic Christmas card. To show their love, they replaced the O in their all lowercase logo with a heart, and it looks, at least to English speakers, like they are expressing a passion for a certain bodily fluid. Let's face it, Locum is playing with fire just by having C-U-M as the last three letters of their name, and they poured gasoline on it by emailing out what would quickly become a viral sensation. Number 6. Montsat It's a bit unfair to go after a small mom-and-pop satellite and antenna installation company in the Lower Silesia province of Poland, but if you're going to humanize a satellite dish, you could have one very long problem, and Montsat didn't take that into account. In this anthropomorphized design, the satellite part known as the support arm is placed right above the legs. The result? He looks very happy to see us. But there's something else about it. Usually someone with this particular issue would do anything to make sure it is not seen. His hands are up, and his tongue is out, however, and he's seemingly very impressed with himself. Let's just hope their in-home installers keep things classier. Number 5. Kids Exchange Kerning is the term used in typography to define the spacing between letters. Too much or too little space and readability suffers. But perhaps the greatest kerning cautionary tale is the alleged one-time logo for the kids' exchange you've surely seen on lists like this before. First of all, care is warranted when the letters S, E, and X are clustered together in your organization's name, especially when your business is focused on children's items. Also, a person not versed in the laws and regulations of sexual reassignment might find it odd that kids can get a sex change down at their local strip mall. Calling anyone out there using this kids exchange logo, can you please just hit that space bar for us? Number 4. London 2012 Summer Olympics An Olympic logo can be a dynamic representation of the country and city hosting the games. Get it wrong, and oh boy. London's 2012 logo cost a reported £400,000, and unfortunately, that expenditure didn't help them avoid major headaches. Problems started back in 2007, when the UK organization, Epilepsy Action, reported complaints of seizures from animated footage prompting the logo. Um, it can actually provoke a form of epilepsy called photosensitive epilepsy, uh, which around 23,000 people in the UK have. But that was only the start. Iran lodged a formal complaint saying the letter spelled Zion and threatened a boycott. And as always, there's the sexual connotation, with some saying it looked like Lisa Simpson giving Bart... Ugh. Do we have to say it? I said it before and I'll say it again. Ay, caramba! Despite the criticism, the London organizers kept calm and carried on. Logo and all. Number 3. A-Style Is it really a fail if they meant to do it? When A-Style founder Marco Bruns created his logo, there was no business idea, no product, no store. Just a logo. You could say Bruns built his success through the back door by affixing stickers of his doggy-style stick figures wherever he went, from Milan to Moscow to Miami. He also painted it on the track at the 2004 Tour de France. People noticed, and the brand grew. Now it's years later, and A-Style sells clothes and accessories displaying their logo, worn by the likes of football megastar Lionel Messi, and appearing on motorcycle helmets at MotoGP events. You could say A-Style is living by the mantra, no publicity is bad publicity. Number 2. Sunrise Sushi slash Institute of Oriental Studies, Federal University of Santa Catarina A sunrise over a pagoda can be a beautiful thing. It can also be very penetrating. Our number 2 logo is shrouded in mystery. Who designed it? Who used it? Several sources attribute it to Sunrise Sushi, a restaurant that may or may not have been undone by its suggestive logo. The London Telegraph reported that the Federal University of Santa Catarina in Brazil used it to represent its Oriental Studies department, but withdrew it when the logo went viral. What we do know for sure is the pagoda is a mainstay on logo fails lists, with the UK's independent once placing among the worst logos to ever be designed. We also know why it's become a viral sensation, and so do you. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Catholic Church's Archdiocesan Youth Commission It was 1973, and the Archdiocesan Youth Commission, an organization within the Catholic Church, apparently started using this new logo. We should mention that, at the time, the only people privy to details about the Catholic abuse scandals were those within the inner circle of the church, and unfortunately, those who were exploited. 
It wasn't until a groundswell of mistrust and tenacious investigative journalism in the 2000s that many very shocking truths were uncovered. The thousands of documents once confidential both illustrated and underlined the mistake and tragedy. And according to a rumor perpetuated repeatedly online, the Archdiocese and Youth Commission was an unfortunate victim of the incident and the overnight memification of found images. The Atlantic asked readers if this is the worst logo ever. Even if this logo is a fake, the irony of the inappropriateness means that our answer is an emphatic yes. Which of these logo misfires is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. I don't have a problem with it, but you know, gotta listen to all those people on social media. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.